Okay, guys. So I've just been uh, messing about with this here at the moment. As you can see, I've got. Um, I need to just do this bit here quickly. I've I've used um, AK pencil. I hope we can see this. AK pencil one zero zero one four. It's called Strong Orca, and I've basically wet the brush and just put a bit on the end of my uh, paintbrush. Um, but you don't want it too strong. As you can see, that I've, I've started off there really strong, and if this dries too quickly, it'll it'll be too strong. So I need to get rid of it, some of it. So just let me let me just uh, just need some of my. Right, so I need to just get some of this off the paintbrush because I've got too much on there. So I just want to I want to just get so it's lightly smudged on there. I'm actually using a glass to do this because I'm pretty polite. <laughs> but what I've done is I've gone around the whole of the model just messing about as you can see this side here I've already started to um, rust, it, rust it up and it's dropped down. I've got various sort of like thicknesses on there and I've gone right around the model basically. And just apart from this side, I was just starting this side as I was showing you guys. But this is probably good because I'm at all. But I'm trying to. I've been using bits of red and bits of bits of orange. But you need to make sure you put plenty of water on the brush, and then because you don't want it to be too thick, you want it to sort of be very wet like this, and then you can you can take away the excess so it doesn't look too too strong and then you can use different colours and create different things you can also you can create like a scratch let me just dry this pencil off because it's too wet you can create like a scratch at the side so you can a great big line like that as you can see I've put a line on there and then you can just with, with wet with the water you can just make it so it streaks down so it looks like You've got very fine rust from that scratch mark. Just put a bit more on the brush. Just rub it off. So I just try and get some so it looks like it's dripping down. And then you want to wet your brush and then take it away so it doesn't look that strong like it is there. So then you can just water it away so it doesn't look as powerful. But you can see the effect that you get then. Hopefully you can see that, or maybe you can't because I'm because I'm not on camera. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, what I've done there is I put a line across and then I've just basically rubbed down with water to make it look like there's a I've drawn a pencil line across a rust one to make it look like a natural scratch hopefully you can see that guys um, I'm, 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 I'm probably gonna have to do another video because this is this is quite difficult to do um, without holding a camera but I need to get rid of all the um, all the drip marks on here because I don't want it to look drippy so because I've just gone on there quite, quite strong So I want it to look so it's streaky but not not sort of so it looks like I've just dropped a load on it and it's fallen down. I want it to have inconsistencies so it doesn't look like it's been done. And then same on the ends. So it doesn't look like I've painted it, it looks like it's dripped down. So then you need to remove a lot of the That clicking you can hear is my paintbrush catching the, the, the uh, glass that I'm using because I'm having to use a glass to do it. So I'm going to try and make it look smart. I 
on my squeaky chair. I have to say that I do like these pencils. They, they, they kind of like, it's just, it's like using paint, it's just really good. Right, so let me turn that around and make sure that that scratch line's on there and we'll put a bit more, put a bit more on the pencil and just dab it on. So you can see, and then put another line down on there, a couple more around the top, around the back here. Right, and then I'll use my brush with water on it, and then just streak it down. Right from the very top. Where it's thicker, that will create a darker orange. So it looks like it's been really, really weathered here. Really rusted or terribly strong. I, 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 it won't all be like that. I'll, I'll, I'll dilute it so it looks as if it's worn away as well. And then when I put some darker colours on as well, it'll um, stand out better. But you need to have a little bit of natural sort of flow so it's come down so it's not all in the same so you've not got masses of blobs everywhere it needs to look as if it has actually done that so you can follow the contours of the, of the metal poles So you can see, and as, you, as you dilute it, it just it looks it looks really good. This one where it's thick here, this would be nice and nice and scratchy. You see the scratch marks there. See how I've left that, so it's kind of quite loud. Quite a prominent one. You break all this up as well by um, using different colours as well, so you can shade it in. I don't want to leave any big splodge marks because it looks silly, in my opinion. So. Let's let that dry a little bit because it just dry very quickly. But I'm going to try and draw one on the edge as well, so it looks like it's been scratched on the side as well. Seeing this on the end. So you could get a build up along, along a line like this, so you could actually draw a line. right on where the actual metal connects and then you can have it run over as well so it looks just a bit of water on there. Just uh, pick it up to do with this because I want it to look natural. Brushing away. I can't get the effect on there because the buffer's in the way but I was hoping to just try and get a little kind of a line just dripping off got that nearly. right
Right, so now I'm going to break this colour with some different colours. Some darker. It'd be prominent. You, you get a prominent, um, a prominent rust at the top more than you will at the bottom because obviously it's accumulated on the top and then dripped down. So that that sort of, sort of effect you would get. So it'd be quite prominent at the top. I'm trying to shade in some uh, some lines on on the lines itself, which I'll do in black later on or a dark colour. Up to now, this has took me about 10 minutes to do this, I think. Maybe a little bit longer. But if you spend a lot of time on it and you want it to look superb, you can make them stand out really well. You get the desired effect you're looking for by just adding bits of different darker colours and... to look different so it doesn't look all the same you know because there'll be some parts that are prominent like oh, this is a lot lighter over here there's not as much uh, rust on this side don't want it to look uniformed using a bit of black at the moment to try and I like the pulse and the dirt has gone down as well and not just rust Sorry if you can keep hearing my uh, chair rumbling around, it's because I've got a squeaky chair, I should have put some oil on it. But that's definitely too dark, I don't want that as dark as that. So let me just uh, get rid of some of that water off of there. That's better dark but not super dark. I'm going to put a real dark line down the back of this here. 
so it looks like it's spilled with lots of dirt around the edge of the can. See it there, I need to move it across a bit more so you can see what I'm doing here. Right, so I've took that dark through there. Just get rid of a lot of the big stuff that's there. So it looks like it's washed out. So you can see how it's prominent on the line, which is what you'd see around all the lines you would get a lot of um, a lot of dirt accumulating around there it would be quite heavy on, on the actual uh, sort of like I'm depicting here now so you see there's a lot of dirt come down here so that will get weaker and weaker as it gets to the bottom stronger at the top and weaker at the bottom but I also want to keep it off the uh, I don't want to keep it on our So where the rails are, you get some droppage off the rails as well. It's more prominent on the top here, down the line. top and weaker the bottom. Where, where the uh, you can see where the where the, where the poles are on, on the top of the gantry here you'll you'll have um, water drip off of there so you want that effect of streak down the back. Obviously the further down it goes, the weaker it'll be. But we're getting there, as you can see. Um, I'm going to finish off with a bit of a darker rust as well. so it disappears into nothing. Fantastic. Just follow the line down so it gets weaker down the line and then just rub off the excess that's on the face. So the next one, just a bit on this one, I don't want to make it look the same too much. A bit of variation here. Yeah. 
washing right the way down the bottom. I just took it out of the screenshot at the moment because I just wanted to take the access off the bottom of the, of the tank itself. And what I'll do with the rest of the, I mean with the, um, uh, when I do the bogies and that, I'll use my air, air gun on that, my Infinity and uh, spray that and just um, right so that's a bit more of the darkness done let's get a different colour darkness a bit of a bit of dark grey start highlighting some of the big stuff you just put on. So number two, just make it break it up so so it accumulates like a like it's dropped to the bottom. That's better. So as you can see, it's it's kind of like. Very, very bitty, very streaky, which is the effect you're looking for. Using this here, you can you can dab on and get like bits of rust in spots. Don't know if you can see that, but but you need to use different colours and not just the same colour. Otherwise, it will look it will look too uniform again. This is just something I always do at the end, just to try and get a different effect. So you get like a combination of um, more than one or two different kinds of rusts on there. So, as you can see, that's that's just um, that's just pretty much there. We go. So you can see it. It looks really different. Um, it's it's not finished. That's just. Just to start, really, I'll go over with the airbrush and I'll, I'll brush along the air on the bottom to build, put some build up along the bottom, and also I'll, I'll use a fine brush on the um, on the railings and put some rust along the top of it and change the railings, and also I'll do the bogies at the bottom, but I'll use a very fine brush to do that, and then I'll dry brush it out, and I'll show you the full model when it's finished. 
you'll see it on the track. So I hope that gives you an idea of what, what these pencils can do. And, um, you know, it's, it's got a little bit more, I'm going to let it dry first, and then I'm going to do a bit more work just along, along the top of here. Um, and then once it's finished, you'll see it on the track. It'll look hopefully a lot better than that does. <laughs> It'll look a lot more natural on the ends, so you'll see drippage on the ends, whereas you're not seeing, like you'll see drippage on the end of there, you don't, all you're seeing there's a spray mark, so you're not seeing any natural fall and any scratches like you're seeing on there. Same as the scratch, I'm not sure if, if it's depicted on the, on the, on the uh, camera, but I've put a scratch along there with drips down the side of it as well. I'm going to put some black on that as well, just to finish it off, so you can see what it's like. Anyway. That's just the start, guys. I hope I hope it gives you an idea, of, you know, what you can get out of these pencils. I'm, I'm going to mess about a bit, and I'm also going to do one of my box cars as well. Uh, do the roof on that because that's got a plain roof, so it'll be it'll be interesting to see how that how that comes out. And um, give us a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you do. I'm going to do some more of these, but I'm going to break them up so they're not super long. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, look forward to your feedback. Thanks. Bye bye.